What's going on YouTube? This is Trainer for Truck Life Productions and I'm back with another video. This one is going to be a tire review for the Ironman uh, All Country All Terrains or AT. Um, basically this is a, a cheaper tire, cheaper all terrain tire, but um, the, the reason I'm using this one on this is because I got a good deal on them and so far they've been holding up really well. Um, it, these tires don't see a, a lot of highway use which I have driven for like an hour at a time on them and they seem to be doing fine um, but it's not an everyday uh, daily use tire so I don't know how exactly I would you know rate that um, but off-road I have definitely used these things off-road numerous times in some crazy uh, crazy terrain like uh, sand or uh, dirt mud stuff like that and for what i've used them in they seem to hold up really well they seem to perform really well um you know I, I don't do it to the extreme but i have done it to where some of the places that you would probably not take like a normal daily driving tire on um or you know somewhere you wouldn't really want to take your daily driver uh i've taken this truck with these tires and I mean they've performed very well um, this one here is a 265 75 16 uh, it's a little bit bigger than what come on them from the factory and the reason being is is what I found at the time and like I said I got a good deal on them they're a little bit bigger than factory tires so this one itself measures to like a I think it was a 31 10 50 or something like that like they come a little bit smaller ones um but you know it's a little bit taller of a tire i think a little bit wider and they're on a 16 inch factory rim and i mean they seem to hold up really well i i haven't really tried them in any snow or um like off-road deep type mud yet which i really ain't gonna take it through nothing like that i may do some stuff in the snow uh, and uh, the rain they seem to hold up pretty decent in the rain as well it is an all-terrain tire so of course a bunch of lugs are going to be a little bit closer together the way that this is designed though it seems like it it's far enough apart to where you can get water out of it you can get dirt out of it so, uh, i do know that these unlike my turos don't really get rocks caught up in them and that's good because I don't really have to worry about them, you know, slinging off and hitting something, which my Turos on my Dodge stick out further, so they'll actually sling up and hit the truck and put dents in it. Um, is where these, I don't really ever hear them getting rocks caught up in them and slinging out. So I will give them that. Um, they do. I mean, as far as off-road use, they do perform very well. I mean, that's mainly what I use them for is, is I use this truck and this truck sees a lot of time off-road um, and for a cheaper tire, they've, they've really done well. So, I mean, I would recommend if it's something that y'all want to get for yourself to use, if you're gonna use it on a vehicle where it probably doesn't see a lot of roadway use but um, occasional roadway and more off-road or dirt roads and gravel roads and um, just some rugged terrain kind of stuff I would recommend them they have seemed to uh, hold up and perform well I don't really have anything bad to say about them. I'm trying to think of different things, but so far they've they've done good. Um, I do need to put a little bit more air into them because it's getting colder weather. They seem to have lost a little bit of air, but that's just because I haven't even put any air in them since I put them on the truck, so it probably wouldn't hurt for me too. But uh, other than that, I mean, I have nothing but good things to say about them. 
trying to think of how many total miles I would say I probably have on them. I mean, because this is still fairly brand new lugs or brand new tread uh, with nice size lugs. If I can say right, I probably got about four to 5,000 miles on them, maybe a little bit more. Um, it's a secondary vehicle, so it's usually more used for working um, and not daily driving. But uh, I do want to say I probably got about about four to 5,000 miles on them. So, so far they seem to do really well, but I will post updates once I use them for more stuff and, and see how they do. But uh, yeah, that's about all I can say about them. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.